Hey everybody, Ref from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Regalia of Ben and Monarchs Let's Play. So, last time around, we uh, decided to take care of a little bit of business around the castle uh, after returning uh, home from our journey in the episode prior to that. Uh, and so we were able to upgrade our pier and go on a fishing day where we caught like two fish and I basically like ruined my left mouse button by spam clicking so much. Uh, and then we uh, decided to go on another journey with uh, Alice, our new character. So uh, I'm hoping that we can have a little bit better luck than we did um, in the battle that we had toward the end there where we lost uh, Signy. I'm not sure if the camp revives her. Uh, she did go down, so generally that would mean that she's out for the remainder of this adventure. But I think because we turned to the camp, she might be good to go again. I, I'm not entirely sure, so I guess we'll find out. If she's down for the count, though, we might have to return home and then come back again so that I have everybody ready to fight. Uh, so Griffith, uh, Penny for your thoughts. Obviously, K is knee deep in uh, this because of your debts, of the debts, but you? What keeps you here? I was once a squire to young master's late father. Today, I am bound by oath to House Lauren. Where my master K goes, I go. I imagine it must be a pretty tiring affair, no? I mean, don't you want to be, you know, free? What? No. I do not think I understand. What are you driving at? Well, let me put it this way, from an outsider's perspective. At best, you're his manservant. At worst, you're his slave. I mean, I don't pretend to understand the relationship between you guys, but I really don't get why you keep following him. No offense, Kay. Uh, let's see... Griffith is an esteemed friend, and a free man. It is just as Master K says, even if he undersells the importance of duty. I chose my path, and even if I were to renounce it now, I will not, nor would I want to. What? No. I do not think this makes me a slave. Quite a harsh assessment, if I may say so. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I get it. And I don't think- and don't think I'm mocking you or anything. It was just a question, nothing more. Ah. I assure you it is quite alright. Okay, well, uh, is there anything else? Hey, you. Uh, we just went through this, so. What? No. Uh, let's see. We'll just, yeah. yeah. Sure. Click that again. Uh, okay, apparently, for some reason they were both showing it even though uh, there was only one conversation there. So, the party is rested, KO'd, party members have been revived. If only I had turned my head slightly to the right, I would have gotten my answer. So good, Signy's back, and that means we're ready to go. So let's get out of here. Okay. So, we can return to this node at any point to heal, but if we do that too often, this is going to end up taking a lot more days to clear than I would like. So, I think what I'll do is let's go... maybe here do these two and then finish with a battle and then come back to the center and that's again hoping that these two aren't ending up in battles themselves but I think that'll be fairly easy and that'll allow me to return back to here and then I can do this and we'll be done so let's go here and then to there all right so in need a blood-curdling scream interrupts your journey cries for help carry through the woods. While you cannot say for sure, it seems to be coming from somewhere nearby. Uh, someone's in danger. Follow the scream. You rush into the greenery, following the screams to their source. Eventually you stumble upon a wooded gully. A hooded woman seems to be lying on the bottom, uh, flailing around helplessly. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll help her. I get the feeling I'm going to regret this, but we'll do it. You jump down into the gully and lean over to help. However, as you extend your hand, the lady turns around, revealing the grinning mug of a bandit. Hello, Gov. Boys, get him. Shadowy figures descend upon you from the edges of the gully. A trap. Curse my hero's honor. Well, anyways, uh, let's see. We need to win without missing or having an opponent dodge uh, and be the first party to deal damage. Uh, oh, there's six of them? Okay. Well... Let's see, I'm going to put you kind of front and center. Let's have you go there. K, 
Kay, I need you somewhere relatively safe. Uh, and same goes for you. So hopefully our um, initiative is going to yes, help us yes. out here. And it would appear that it will. So I'm going to move you here. And I'll have you pounce. Pounce. Apparently she has no line of sight there, so um, I'm going to undo that move then and move her here. We'll pounce to right there. That'll give me two hits. I think anywhere else and I'll only be able to get one. So we'll take two hits right there. Not too shabby. Uh, and then move over one. We're going to blitz and then we're going to go ahead and use Whirlwind to get all three. Uh, unfortunately we missed, so there goes um, I think one of our challenge objectives. And she's stuck there, so she could end up getting wiped out uh, pretty quickly, but we're going to have to just kind of roll with it. It's okay. I guess I could run over there and throw a buff on her to keep her upright. Uh, the issue is, I guess that's him, right? Yeah. So I could get Griffith in front of Kay before that happens. What's the range on that? Can I get her from here? No. Gotta be there. Alright, so go ahead and buff her. Right you. That should allow her to soak like one hit before she goes down. Um, meanwhile, K, step out of the way so I can get Griffith through. This little worm's gonna do something. Let's okay. get dangerous. Um, it's unfortunate that I couldn't get her out of the way because I could drop a huge AoE on them right now. In fact, it might be worth doing it anyways and just having her soak the hit. Let's see. If you move there, can you do it? Inferno. Not quite. At best, I could get two of them and Signy. So I don't think that's worth it. Instead, let's undo that. And I think I can drop the Inferno on these two, possibly. I mean, it's out of range. So... Yeah, I can only get one of them because of that log. Uh, okay, scratch that as well. In that case, move over here and just throw fire at this little weasel. Oh, nice! It jumped to them as well. Sweet. Uh, that was a nice little unexpected bonus. I knew it had that ability, I just didn't think it would uh, jump that far. So, my hope was to get Griffith over there to help her out. I don't know if he can move that far. Uh, you can dynamic entry right here. Let's do that. Not on my watch. Of course he missed. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. Well, at least there's two people there for them to spread their hits across now. Uh, apparently he didn't bother to attack. And these guys are nice and slow, so... As long as we don't waste too much time over here, we should be able to dispatch all three of these guys before we have to deal with those two. Come help me, you idiots. Apparently he's calling for help. Are you going to do that too? No, you're going to attack. Alright, so got a little bit of damage through. It did slow her though, which is really, really bad for her. She kind of relies on her movement. Um, go ahead and hit... Uh, Griffith there, since that's really all you can do. Meanwhile, um, let's get you maybe back behind the rock. He's gonna attack her, I assume. He doesn't hit very hard, though. But he, he does like, actually steal stuff from us. Let's see, she could throw a blazing barrier down in front of them to slow them down a bit. Or we could hit them with an inferno. Both are tempting. Um, let's do the blazing barrier. Oh, I can throw it on him. You know what, in that case, step back. 
to... wait. So if I throw it on him... Yeah, just do that. And if he decides to move, he'll take more damage. Or at least, if he decides to move along with that fire. Okay, end your turn. Now. Griffith, I need you to do a Crescent Strike. Uh, you may end up hitting Signy though, unfortunately. Yeah, you will. Damn it. Um, in that case, do a Pinpoint Strike and please hit for like, max damage or close. Oh. Uh, that was enough. Well fought. Um, and then I'm gonna rush you back this way and hope that Signy... Though I don't think she can actually do enough damage to take them both out. Uh, regardless, I'm going to start moving you back this way, because we're going to need you over here. And... Oh, right, she got slowed. That was stupid of me. That was very stupid of me. Because it's going to be a while before she gets a turn. I, I might have to dynamic entry back in there. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. crap. Um, oh, right, and you can't whirlwind again. So move out, pounce back in. Uh, do a little bit of damage, not nearly enough though. And then move here. And then let's see, if I blitz. You can't move? Ah, crap. I was hoping she could move a little bit and I could pounce her into here. Let's see. It's not going to get either of them. Huh. Well, it looks like Griffith is going to go before they do, so if I'm aggressive, I can kill them both before she gets hit. So let's just do a little bit more damage. And they should each go down with a single hit. Oh, okay. Apparently he's going to join the fight. Yes. Um... Well, you got another turn. In that case, pounce again. Actually, could just whirlwind there. And done it. But down they both go, and then I will move you to here because you're better at attacking multiple enemies at a time, and I'll end Leave your this to turn me. there. Okay, I'm gonna have you throw some shields on her because she can certainly use them. Then that should help us keep her on her feet a little bit longer. And then, um, that will be the end of your turn. These two wormy guys are gonna go, and then she's gonna go. So we'll see what they decide to do, but I'm hoping he finishes his turn somewhere relatively close to that guy. <laughs> of course he walked through the fire, like an idiot. And let's see, Inferno, can I drop it somewhere where it won't hit my guys? No, it's going to hit Griffith, or K, and Line of Sight is an issue as well. In that case, um, in that case, let's see, move over here, and throw a Fire Shield on, how do you not have Line of Sight? Fine, just throw Fire at him. Okay, and let's get you back behind the rock. Let us strike. Okay. First thing you're gonna do is finish that guy off. Justice. Actually, I probably should let the fire do it. The but one. whatever. Um. Then this guy's kind of a problem, but I don't want to walk through the fire. So move here, I guess. And then we blitz so that you can pinpoint strike him. Good job. That looked like a critted as well. It's pretty good damage for pinpoint strike, 285. I think 233 is the usual max. He's gonna start hitting K, which is unfortunate. Because K's not really built for frontline combat. But I can throw like a fire down there or something. Uh, let's see. Why don't you pounce and hit him in the back? We'll try to whittle him down. Um, let's see, move to here. Blitz. Ancestors pounce back in. 
and one good hit should put him down. So I'll move you back toward these two. Let's go. Okay. I'm actually gonna leave this guy to her. So K move around here. And throw some shields on Signe, because she doesn't have a lot right of health. At you. We'll get uh, Griffith with the next one. Please stand by while we assassinate. What are you gonna do? You gonna mug him? 93 something. Let's get dangerous. Alright, so hit him with a firefly. You should be able to kill him here. Unless you do like that. Uh, we'll run away. Let's have you hit this guy, and then uh, I might blitz to finish him off. Oh, I can't. Oh, he's just gonna go after K again. Of course he is. Oh, no, he's calling for help. So two turns, and then they get reinforcements. Maybe I can finish them in two turns. I doubt it, though. So we'll probably have to deal with another guy. Um, let's see, unfortunately, you can't pounce back behind him, oh you can, go ahead and do that, missed, that sucks, but if you blitz, you can uh, whirlwind and hit them both, for quite a bit of damage there actually. Um, and then let's get you here. Here we go. Okay. Um, go ahead and just throw some shields on Griffith. Because chances of you hitting and killing him are... I'm not going to say slim, but not Come on, baby. enough like for me to life. rely on. Move here, and then let's see, 139... If you hit him with it, not Inferno, if you do the uh, Blazing Barrier, that's not really going to be enough, is it? That seems like overkill, but you know what? At this point, I don't care. <laughs> Explosion! Nice. Down he goes. Beautiful. That's the end justice. of your turn. Uh, let's get you over here. Hit him with that pinpoint strike. <laughs> And if we can get one more hit in before they get reinforcements, I would be stoked. But I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see. One more turn. If you pounce in right here, I think you can finish him. And we'll get away without having to fight those two. Perfect. From dust you came, to dust you go! Alright, so we got the... we got one of the challenges. With the bandits defeated, the proverbial day is saved. True, you may have fallen into their trap like a chump, but at least now they won't bother anyone else. Just like I had planned it, right? Okay, so let's move on to the next node. Hopefully we don't end up uh, finding a battle in this one as well. Although we were able to keep everyone on their feet, so as far as we're concerned, we didn't actually like take any damage there. Uh, because they all get refreshed when we jump into the next fight. So, conflicting interests. A series of low gurgling sounds in the distance attracts your attention. The source of these sounds turn out to be a group of six trolls. One of them comes forth to speak to you and offers a polite bow. Uh, with polite phrasing and immaculate enunciation, he explains that they're holding a seminar for the betterment of troll kind and that you're invited to stay and listen in case you'd so desire. Uh, I'll politely decline. The troll nods sagely and wishes you safe travels. I feel like we missed out on something there, but... Uh... I don't want to mess with trolls, so... Right, let's uh, check this note out and then we can double back to the camp and rest and then we can hit the last two. Okay, so... We have to defeat all the enemies within eight turns. Um, we also, if we want to complete the challenges, need to defeat two enemies with a single ability. Uh, and also defeat an enemy while they still have shield points remaining. That's an interesting one. Oh, these bugs. I hate them. That means we have to defeat these guys with range attacks because they explode. So this is going to be really hard. Uh, we'll do something like this. And i got to be pretty aggressive yes, here because yes. we only have eight turns to do this. 
So if I move you... How far does your pounce go? Pretty far. So I think if I put her there, she should be able to pounce. And that should retain a good portion of her movement. Hopefully. So where she can back out again. So, yeah, go ahead and do that. And we'll see if maybe Alice can hit a few of them with her fire spell. Here we go. Uh, Kay. I'm gonna have you throw command on Signy, because I think we're gonna be relying a Take lot this. on her for this one. And that's all I really need you to do at the moment. I think Alice is gonna be the star of the show here. Because I'm gonna need her range attacks quite a bit here. Let it flow. Okay, a little bit of damage to all three. Couldn't quite get the kill though. I'm gonna go ahead and blitz so that I can do that again. That should get us this kill and chip away a bit a little bit more. Uh, I'll take that. Um, I will back you off again, however. The time is now. All right, then Griffith. Um, you're not lined up with him, are you? No, you're not. Uh, just move here. And let's see. I'll do a boisterous challenge to the big guy. Oh, he's not close enough. Uh, then to you. So that you'll come after him and not Signy. Although Signy has the shield, so maybe that was a bad idea. He's got more health, though. He's gonna pinch me. Uh, they don't hit very hard, at least. I think they're more dangerous when they blow up than uh, when they're actually attacking. Mana discharge, that's concerning. So they can shield themselves. They're gonna be pretty oh, tough to take down. See, step into here. If you whirlwind, you might blow that one up. So I'm reluctant to do it, but I'm gonna go for it regardless. You have some shields, so I think you'll be all right. Yeah, that did From actually a bunch of damage to him. To dust you go. Uh, let's see. Get out of the way for now. Okay, I need you to throw some shields on Griffith since he lost like half of his health bar there. So that was obviously a mistake. Um, I'll end your turn, Alice. Move to here. Actually, I think if you go there, he'll be in range. Yeah. Take that little guy out safely. And then, um, let's see, let's move you to right there, and if I blitz can't you, this one. you can't quite hit him. Uh, you can, you just won't do full damage, which is unfortunate. What if you did a blazing barrier? Like so. Yeah, do that. Because they'll both have to walk through that to get the to time us. Is now. Griffith, start moving in that general direction. That's fine. I imagine these guys are going to explode even larger. Oh boy. Uh, they actually don't hit that hard. Or do they? There's so many numbers happening on his head, I can't really tell what's going on. Yes, yes. Um, let's see. What to do here? I'll have you move there, I guess, and let's pounce on this one. Oh wait, no, Griffith's there. Damn it. Why did I do that? And it hit him for more damage than that thing. Uh, that was a mistake. Leave this to me. I am not handling this well. Uh, throw some more shields on Griffith so he doesn't die. Wait, what? He's not in range? Now he's in range. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'll end my activation there. I'm going to have you throw a fire shield on Griffith so that any attack he takes will get reflected back, at least partially. And the question is, you know what, I'm going to do two I'm pinpoint strikes. Oh wait, as I, think uh, I, like it. I, I say that as I 
go ahead and tell her to blitz anyways. I meant to have him pinpoint strike twice, but that works too. Uh, didn't do as much damage as I would have liked though. Keep laying into him. Weird. There's just so many things happening above these guys' heads, I can't really tell what's going on. Okay, he missed. That's good. But he's gaining shields, like, the whole time. Interesting. That hurt her quite a bit. Yes, yes. Uh, do me a favor and pounce to... Here, I guess. Really? No line of sight? Um, well, you're kind of stuck, so... I don't know what to do, to be honest. Hmm. Let's do that, then. So they're both panicked. I don't know if that'll help me much, but we'll see. Okay, uh, I need you to keep her upright. Is it gonna let me? No. I don't think I can do anything to her because she's kind of blocked. Hmm. Could empower. I could also just keep contributing damage. Sure, just shoot him. Right at you. Oh, he missed. Of course he did. It missed. That's about all he's good for. Come on, baby. Light my all right, fire. let's have you throw some fire at him. Let's that should jump. Go. So, do they not really take? It seems like I'm wasting my time by hitting them with magic because they seem to be getting healed from it. So let's see. You have a lot of health left. Why don't you go distract him? The time is now. And I'm hoping that your hits will uh, be enough to finish him. That wasn't quite enough Do there. Not Actually, before you attack, move to here so that she can get out, and then go ahead and attack again. Yeah, we're not hitting very hard. He's going to run because he's panicked. Hopefully he does the same. Uh, he is gaining shields the whole time though, so we can't just kind of let this go on forever. Um, wow. Zero? But how much shield damage? Whatever. Go ahead and try it. Okay, um, and then get over here or something, because you're kind of weak at the moment. Let's get some shields on her so she doesn't die. I don't know if we can win this, to be honest. We have to do it in only a few more turns here, and I just don't see it happening. The heat is on. You're not really helping us, so I think I'm, like I don't want to throw more magic at them because it seems like it's healing them. Deterrence. Hmm. I'll throw deterrence on her. Maybe Let that'll have them avoid attacking her or something. For great justice. And then let's move you here. And I'm gonna do a dynamic entry. And hopefully that's enough to finish him. Yes. Well fought. Good job. Uh, hustle back this way. And if I blitz, I don't think that's going to allow you another turn. So rather than that, I'm just gonna end my activation, and we'll save it for two points yes, so yes. somebody can use their special. Uh, let's see, up to four enemies in range, that's not going to help me here. So instead, move there, and I'm wondering, since he's two tiles across, does he get hit twice by Whirlwind? Let's find out. Uh, no, just the once. Here we go! Alright, um... She's in pretty desperate need of some shields. What does this do? Pull yourself together, grant 60% of maximum shields to a target ally. Lowers all their cooldowns by one. Uh, I'm gonna throw that onto our friend here. So that makes him pretty damn durable. Let's get dangerous. You aren't gonna do anything, because I can't trust you not to just end up healing him. Although what I will do is if I put you in front, he can't move this way now. Because he's too big. So you're going to be like a roadblock for me. 
Uh, can't dynamic entry at the moment, so let's put you here and just do a regular old pinpoint strike. And we're almost through his shields. Continuing to buff his shields. Man, these guys are frustrating. So we have one more turn to do this. I don't think we can put out like a thousand damage in one, one turn here. Don't really want to panic him. Hmm. No, not gonna help. Just uh, keep pouncing. Okay, well, it did a decent little amount there. Um, I think that's Here fine. Let's get some shields on... Wait, Griffith's shields are gone already? Is it like stealing our shields or something? I'm so confused. I think it might be stealing our shields. I'm trying to figure out what these things are doing. Because he had... Oh, he had like 800, he got hit, and it went down to 5, and now it's gone completely. So I am dangerous. not entirely sure what's going on, but it's Let it flow. frustrating and bad for us. At your side. How far can you move? Go there, and we'll dynamic entry back in. I don't think that's going to hit for as much as a pinpoint would have. 150, so about the same. Push them back. Just pinpoint strike then. But I don't, yeah, I don't think we can put out enough damage to get this guy. Let's see. Oh, well, there goes your shield. At least you survived that hit, though. Okay, let's see here. Pounce. We gotta do this quick. She's hitting for pretty good damage. I don't know if I should have her do it or if I should just have Griffith do it twice. Uh, I'll just let Griffith Leave go because his me. is at least guaranteed to hit. Um, I think I'm going to go all in for damage here. So we'll do a rend. Right at you. 116, not the worst. Uh, that will be the end of your turn. Let's get dangerous. I, again, I'm reluctant to use any of her abilities because I think magic is actually healing these guys. So, yeah, not gonna, not gonna risk it. I need two good hits from you. So, I don't know if we're gonna get enough here. Do not falter. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Come on. No, it's not gonna be enough. So, I think we're gonna be, like, one attack short of completing the main objective. Which I guess means we lose. Yeah. We've been we vanquished, apparently. Yes. Well. Um. Let's see. I guess we could restart this. Uh. I don't really. I don't know if we have time, though. So we are out of time, unfortunately. Uh. What I will do is I will end the episode here. And, uh. I guess I'll just jump right into recording the next one since I can't save. And hopefully we're going to have better luck there. So, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Regalia with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.